there are many critics right many critics reviewers influencers who have their expert opinion and they go around reviewing everything i mean everything they review parties food makeup underwear sports you name it they do it and they all do it for free spend their time reviewing things and giving their opinion and you know the only reason they do it is because they get a free meal I mean if i asked any of them to make me a scrambled egg it'll taste like my shoe you to join us as we taste some of the so called best and the worst and the in betweens of colombo and give you a really honest real opinion so do join us cuz we really we give you the good bad the ugly the in between and everything on what they used to eat in colombo So we decided to check out a new kind of place this time, a restaurant located at a different kind of setting, um, one, a place that has historical significance. I don't know if you've heard of Tint Gel. Yes, that's right, Tint Gel, not Tint Gel, Tint Gel. So Tint Gel, if I remember right, is a name from either Greek or Roman or one of these fancy kind of things, you know. Um, so it's the name of this uh, lovely location in Colombo. Uh, but it's also the former residence of uh, Sri Lanka's uh, late Prime Minister S W R D Bandar Naik, and the poor man was assassinated here. Yes, he was killed. Ugh, sight of murder. But doesn't matter. I mean, now it's a beautifully restored boutique um, boutique hotel, and it has this lovely restaurant. It's also the place where Prince Charles. That's right. the prince charles prince of wales decided to stay when he visited sri lanka to celebrate independence yes we celebrated independence by inviting our colonial oppressor it doesn't matter anyhow so prince charles chose to stay in this lovely boutique um, hotel in colombo tintagel and so we decided to check out tintagel and see what it has to offer it is uh, run by the gallery cafe restaurants paradise road ashant fernando So we want to see what Tinted Gel had in store for us. So Tinted Gel is located in uh, Down Ross Mid Place in Colombo Seven. That's right, the hoity-toity area of Sri Lanka, cinnamon gardens. You know all the oh, where all the, uh, the hoity-toity posh people live. Sorry, I'm not trying to be a cat here. I once lived down in Colombo Seven, but of course people have this stupid perception of this place, and therefore they assume anything in Colombo Seven is wonderful, including Taco Bell. Okay, forget it. So anyway. Uh, Tintagel is down Rosmid Place, uh, and actually Rosmid Place, considering how commercialized Colombo Seven is these days, it's no longer very residential. It's a frigging marketplace. It's like petar, because every five meters is a shop or a restaurant. Oh, anyway, Rosmid Place seems to have avoided uh, it a little bit. So uh, Tintagel is down uh, at the junction of Rosmid Place and Vijayarama Mavatha, and it's in this uh, beautiful setting. I mean, when you just walk in. uh it's it's like this colonial mansion it has two turrets on either side which is really wonderful and um it it has an old world charm you know nobody broke it down and built a the apartment <laughs> which seems to be the trend these days thank god someone with a bit of taste 
kept the beautiful bungalow as it was. So it still looks really lovely. So it's, it's very centrally located and I must say it's a little exclusive because it is technically in a residential area. That's right, a restaurant in a residential area because we don't know what we're doing with ourselves. We are so stupid. Anyway, so uh, location wise, it's, it's rather, uh, how shall I put it? Uh, it's in this little tucked away corner unless you know where to find it you might not find your way. It's not brazenly advertised. There's no board out there or anything. It's just a you know, really little small sign saying Tinted Gel. So uh, in terms of location, it's very central. It's in Colombo 7. It's posh for those of you who want to say you're Colombo 7, you know, and say you dine and wine in Colombo 7. So yeah, it, it's just centrally located. It's a lovely place. And um, it's a place that's like tucked away and really homey. And yeah, it's a great place to go to. So location wise, super location, very central. At the same time, a little bit away from the commercial hustle and bustle uh, of the city. So in terms of a logo, uh, C Tinted Gel is part of Paradise Road and the Gallery Cafe. And they have this uh, black and white theme. That's right, it's black or white. It's just white lettering on a black background. That's it. I mean, there's nothing else. It's it's tint gel. A very straightforward font, nothing cursive, um, with serifs, so yeah, it's quite boring in that sense, but I think they just want to go for that very minimalistic zen kind of look, so the zen look says that you don't really get too decorative, but I, I honestly wish they had some kind of, you know, imperial element to it, because it's tint gel, it's a colonial kind of heritage house, it has history, it has an assassination there, so yeah, the that in the logo, it's just very straightforward, black and white, Someone just put a font in their Times New Roman, for all you know. There you have it, a boring logo. So the ambience of tinted, tinted gel, actually, I must say, is really quite lovely. Uh, so uh, it's a boutique hotel, as I mentioned before, but it does have this dining area. And we decided to dine outside because we wanted to, uh, you know, get some privacy. You don't want like, you know, some breathing down your neck, sniffing around you, you know, <laughs> how can I help you? So anyway, uh, their dining area, they have a little narrow little room inside, which is a little claustrophobic. So we decided to go outside to the courtyard. And I must say the place, it's so romantic. Actually, for those of you who want to who want to take, you know, your date and, you know, enjoy a romantic dinner. It's really lovely. So I, it's a perfect spot for like a, you know, like a nice romantic dinner date. Not a hot date, a romantic dinner date. In terms of uh, the ambience, it was very dim lighting. So it was almost like, you know, half light. Um, we sat at a table that had candlelight and there were like very subtle LED lighting around uh, the perimeter of the wall and there were leaves that covered the LED lighting. So it was really very subtle, very nice, very calming, warm kind of environment. And because we were outside, it had also the nice fresh air, the lovely plants, the little creeper. I think it was like a gummiris palais running on the wall. Never mind, it looked really nice, you know. So ambiance wise, full marks of tinted gel and really the spot to take that romantic, Love of your life too.